Hi there. Um, my name is James Oscar, and uh, thank you for being here. The reason I'm here today is because um, my history with uh, police profiling actually goes back to 1968. My uh, uncle was murdered by the police in Trinidad in 1968 for no reason at all. My family was then led into exile here in Montreal. My story continues because I lived in NDG in the 1980s and I witnessed the aftermath of perhaps one of the most, you know, uh, well-known shootings that, that, that came to public attention, and that is the shooting of Anthony Griffin. The thing about the shooting of Anthony Griffin is that I was actually a newspaper boy at the same station where he was shot. I was there the day he was shot. I thought that was the end, but it continued. My history continued from 1968 to 1987 to 1990. My uncle was murdered by the police on December 24th, 1968. On December 24th, 1990, I was walking on Summerled Boulevard in Montreal, Canada, minding my business with a bomber jacket, which my mother said looked a little bit gangster, but I wore it anyway. I wore that jacket I lived with the fear after Anthony Griffin's death of this always happening to me, and it came true. I was thrown up against the window by the police and accused of armed robbery. I was brought to the same station where I was a newspaper boy up until three years before. This is a history of a whole. This is a story of a whole and of man and woman's greatest fall from the common link. This is a hole we keep falling further and further down into with disgrace. We all at times look down in shame at this ground and this hole which further and further opens. Many of us, man and woman, woman and man, are not brave enough to jump into this hole this hole which breaks the union of our civilization. We often look at the gaping chasm, odd, disillusioned, and we try to find ways to patch the hole while only some of us decide to report and speak about this hole. The hole widens, the illusion grows, the masses yawn, and many begin to also not see a hole, not even seeing the patch up that is covering the hole. The break of the union leaves that hole. The hole is there for time immemorial. And more often than not, people walk right near to the hole. They walk right next to the hole, forgetting that this is a patch hiding history, that this patch hides a history of a break it's a history of man and woman's refusal to accord history. It is a patch that hides woman and man's proper reflection. Many come to memorialize the whole. Some pay tribute to the whole, but others keep continue to walk by the whole. This is the story of the whole. One looks at the growing machinery that the nation puts in place. It is a machinery of indoctrination. It is a machinery of revisionism. It is a machinery of a nation that comes to placate and protect the lie of the whole at all costs. There are several groups that walk by the whole. The first group comes to look at the whole and memorialize the whole. This group looks and pays tribute to the whole and the break of our civilization. But this memorial and this memorialization of the whole is subdued and quiet, even though it has some beautiful convictions. The other group does not even see the whole. 
Others do not even see such tributes. Others decide the tributes to the whole created in the fabric of their civilization must be greater, must be louder, must be more pronounced. This is the group that we have to join. We have to join the group that speaks louder, more pronounced, and believes more in the fight to stop the daily war of souls. These are the beautiful ones. The point of all this is that to be silent is a luxury of privilege. I have been silent since 1990. And I know now that to be silent is a luxury of privilege. Please become one of the beautiful ones. Speak openly to all people in all walks of your life about this whole at the heart of our civilization. Those who stop the daily war of souls and speak about this whole are the beautiful ones. Thank you. Uh, my name is not important, but I am from Oakland, California. How many of you have seen Fruitville Station? Yes. People have? Um, I know many of you are students. Many of you are going home for the holidays. Many of you will be spending them for your family. I don't know how many of you were at the vigil for Mike Brown, but all that I could find myself thinking of is that at this time, Michael would have been home eating dinner with his family, telling his mom of the cute girl in his class, of the new friends that he made, of the annoying person who always asked the professor when the next homework was due. And he was never given that chance, as so many are never given that chance because they are profiled and they are murdered and they are silenced. I'm here to ask you to remember I want you to remember that the U.S. isn't the only place where incidences like these happen. I want you to remember that in the words of Angela Davis, this myth that black people did not resist until Watts or until Malcolm or until Martin Luther King and the Black Panther Party are not true. I want you to remember that reforming an institution founded on the murders of natives and built on the backs of African slaves is not a solution. It must be destroyed and recreated. I want you to remember that colorblindness is not a solution. Our ability to recognize, accept, and celebrate these differences is what is. I had a white friend say to me not too long ago, see, I don't, I don't see you as black. That is not a solution, but rather we must realize that everyone is different and it is those differences that we should celebrate and they are neither better nor worse than each other. I want all of you to remember the names, I'm going to read all the list of names, of the people who were murdered or brutalized by police. Their names are Kamani Gray, Amadou Diallo, Sean Bell, Kendrick McDade, Tamir Rice, Renisha McBride, Eric Garner, John Crawford, Yvette Smith, Eleanor Bumpers, Ayana Stanley Jones, Tarika Wilson, Tanisha Anderson, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Rodney King, Trayvon Martin, Oscar Grant, Michael Brown. Michael, they tried to bury you, but they didn't know you were a seed. I'm going to be reading a poem by um, a woman who goes to Spelman College. It reads, Michael, they buried you, but they did not know you were a seed, and my brother, you have sprouted. You were planted when that life was taken from you, 
and you were watered by the tears of your mother, by the tears of your father, the tears of your sisters, your brothers. My tears have nurtured and cultivated them. Yes, my brother, you have sprouted. I am ready for the work. We are ready for the work. And I will take care of this brown. I will take care of this body that is your soil so that your flower will never die. They cannot pluck you as long as you are planted here within me. They cannot pluck you as long as you are planted in our souls. They will not take him away from us again. I can promise you that. And like all seeds that sprout into the beauty, we deem flowers, you need protection, Michael. We will be that. We will be your protection, your safe keepers. You have joined our garden and your roots are intertwined with those of our foremothers and forefathers. Know that we are intertwined, united, rooted because of you and for you, my brother, Michael. They tried to bury you and they did not know you were a seed. So if you guys, I don't know if you want to, but if you can chant with me, hands up, don't shoot. And we're gonna do this for Michael. Okay, ready? Hands up, don't shoot! 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 Thank you guys so much and we're out here for Michael and for all those brown and black people that nobody ever cared about that have died without being noticed. We're doing this for them. <laughs> Je suis pas quelqu'un qui, euh, qui fait beaucoup de, de speech d'habitude. Je vais passer à court, je vais vous raconter deux histoires qui m'arrivent. Puis ça va vous expliquer comment c'est le, le, prof, le profital racial. Je, quand je suis à la banque, je suis en soute. Je vais payer mon dernier paiement sur, euh, sur euh, mon auto ou quelque chose comme ça. Là. Je, je vais de payer. Il y a une madame qui vient me voir et elle pense que je suis gardien de sécurité. Ça là, ça joue dans tous les hommes noirs à Montréal. Ça peut être, vous pensez que ça passe ça aux États-Unis, mais ça arrive ici aussi. Deuxième histoire, je suis devant chez moi, je suis propriétaire, je coupe le gazon, il fait chaud, j'ai pas de chandail sur moi, il y a des voisins qui me voient, ils pensent que je suis quelqu'un qui travaille dans une compagnie de paysagistes. Non, 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 je suis euh, propriétaire ici là. Vous devez comprendre que chaque jour, nous autres, on est toujours fait face à la réalité que vous nous voyez d'une autre sorte de euh, main. Donc, qu'est-ce qui est arrivé aux États-Unis? C'est sûr qu'il y a quelqu'un qui est mort, mais je pense que ça, 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 ça laisse la chance à, au, au reste du monde entier, même Montréal. Puis je suis content que vous êtes ici ce soir parce que vous avez pris la chance ou la petite effort de plus pour prendre le temps de comprendre qu'est-ce que nous vivons au jour le jour. Fait que juste pour vous remercier pour tout le monde d'être venu ce soir. Merci. Bon, on, pourrait, on pourrait faire une minute de silence à la mémoire de Michael Brown euh, et toutes les autres victimes euh, du profilage racial qui a mené un euh, meurtre de la de profilage racial tout court, comme on vient de voir, ça se vit au quotidien. Donc, euh, on va partir à la minute de silence.
Euh, donc, ce qu'on vous inviterait à faire maintenant, c'est pour que tout le monde nous entende, pas seulement les gens qui sont dans les alentours, c'est d'être rendre la vie en solidarité avec toutes les victimes de profilage racial, euh, sous toutes ses formes, que ça finisse en meurtre ou que ça finisse par les préjugés. Donc, euh, on vous invite à venir prendre la rue avec nous. Donc, euh, heads up, don't shoot! 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 Heads Don't shoot! 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 Don